Hi everyone, Rob Chandler here from Starting Pixel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about virtual production and podcasting, which is a bit of a weird mix, but uh, let's get on with it. First of all, thank you very much to Mosis for the use of the studio. So, why on earth would you use virtual production for podcasting? Or vodcasting, as sometimes it's called, if you're video first as well. Uh, so there's a couple of reasons, but the main reason why we did it is because we've got a new podcast called It's All Virtual. And the first pilot we did, we shot in a podcast studio, which was great, brilliant. But a few comments were, why did you use a podcast studio and not a virtual studio? So uh, we used one recently uh, and we've got a good comparison between two. So that's the reason why we use virtual production, because you've got to eat your own dog food, right? But why would you want to use a virtual production uh, for a podcast? There's a couple of reasons that became apparent is that the first one is if you want to have a specific type of environment that you want to be in. And that environment can be anything. That could be a studio, could be a branded studio. It could be something that really helps with the story that you're trying to tell. It could be very abstract. It could be all sorts of things. And applying sort of virtual production methodology to that allows you to create something more visually produced. Now, there's a bunch of ways of being able to do virtual production, ranging from incredibly high tech all the way through down to, you know, quite basic green screen technology. A couple of the other benefits of using virtual production would be if you wanted to move studio. So if you went from one virtual production studio to another virtual production studio or green screen, that's one option. So you could do your podcast absolutely anywhere in the world. Uh, the other reason would be if you actually run a range of podcasts. So like if you produce a range of podcasts, which you have back to back throughout a day, you could change the environment for each one really, really simply. Because we've got a virtual production studio ourselves, we were able to throw all of the tech at it. So each of our cameras had a full VP system attached to it. However, that's not going to be feasible for the vast majority of budgets. But there are lots of other solutions as well, which include just static cameras, which is what most people are expecting when you view a podcast anyway. Uh, and this is a relatively simple process that's been around and technology that's been around for a really long time that uses green screens um, and it's something called a Kia you can get a software Kia or a hardware Kia and that basically just removes the green and puts the camera image together with the background image um, and that's pretty much it really thanks for listening starting pixel is a global virtual production community join to gain access to the members chat rooms talking non-technical and technical on all things virtual production you can also subscribe to the It's All Virtual podcast, as well as a weekly chat room summary and a monthly newsletter, giving you early access to events, training, job opportunities, service listings, and more. Just go to startingpixel.com. That's startingpixel.com.